In this lecture, I will use this model to explain some advanced motion analysis tools. This is a rear view of a racing car with double wishbone suspension system. We have the chassis, lower control arm, upper control arm, the wheel, and the shock absorber. The wheels are bent to the ground to simulate the chassis rolling motion, but needless to say that this assumption is valid for certain conditions. Remember, this 2D design is an initial quick step and 3D analysis is a must, especially in the suspension design. Let's create a new motion study, and as usual, check that motion analysis has been added from SOLIDWORKS add-ins. Click here to view the timeline, go here and select motion analysis. Let's make a small refreshment on the spring and damper lecture by adding two springs and dampers to the model. Make the stiffness 60 newton per millimeter and the damping coefficient is 8. Then OK. Do the same with the right shock absorber. Select these two lines. Sixty Newton per millimeter. Damping coefficient eight and OK. The first tool I want to explain is force. You may need to add a force in your model. For this example, we can add the weight of the chassis. But first, I will make a small modification to the ground block. I will add a fixed vertical line and I will use it to define the force direction. So it can be always in the vertical direction, however, the model motion. Now, from the motion study tools, select force. To define a force, you need first a point of application. I will select this point here. Next, the line of action. And this is the line we have just drawn. This line here represents a force vector. Click reverse to change the direction. Some options related to the force definition. Stay with constant and the force magnitude is 1800 newtons. Calculate. As you see, the chassis is going down and compressing the springs. Now I want to explain the mass properties. In SOLIDWORKS sketch blocks, we can add mass properties to the blocks in the motion study. For example, edit the layout and select the chassis block. Make sure that you are selecting motion analysis. Now scroll down to mass properties. I can add a center of gravity and change its position. So I have sketched the circle here to place the CG on it. I can change the mass, for example, 180 kilograms. I can also add moments of inertia, IXX, IXY, IYY, and so on. Now, I will repeat the previous simulation, but this time I won't add a force. Instead, I will use the mass properties we have just created. Another important tool is to add gravity to the model, so all the masses can be simulated. To add gravity, select gravity. Here we can select the gravity direction. I will make it in Y direction. And also I can change the direction from here and confirm. Now calculate. And again, the chassis moved down and compressed the springs.